Hello, ladies and gentlemen, LMG here, and welcome to another look at Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I want to kind of expand apart uh, from my last video, uh, just to clarify some other things as well. There's actually a lot of things I've enjoyed about this game, but there, there's, there's a lot of bad in there too. And I don't think it's primarily Rocksteady's fault, actually. Because uh, I feel like some higher-ups decided, hey, multiplayer live service game. Because this has happened many, many a time. I think Warner Brothers, maybe some higher-ups uh, had a hand. Because there's a lot of great stuff in the game. Right now, we're just, there's going to be some slight spoilers. I'll try not to spoil too much. But this is kind of the main hub. Uh, this is the Hall of Justice. We're taking over. It's nice. But this is really kind of setting up the whole get most of the game and all the side missions have really been setting you up for the end game grind, uh, et cetera, like that. And this is just because I compared it to the, I said copy the Avengers, because a lot of the missions have been almost exactly the same. You know, different enemies slightly on, but if you compare and contrast the two, and I played a lot of Avengers, I played through the main story, I, I, I grinded a little bit at the end, and it was just. Other than the story, it was pretty, pretty horrible. The gameplay, uh, the gunplay and everything in this is better than the Avengers. I've had a better time than the Avengers, of course, but... Yeah, the missions are just so repetitive and the same. It's just horrible. But actually, let's see. Well, is Penguin over here? Yeah, Penguin is our arms broker. And the... The, the loot is so... So terrible. Running with guns. You need a good Because he will craft you new guns, and it's a little bit of a range roll on some of these, but generally the notorious weapons I got in the beginning are still better than anything else I've gotten. Very seldom. Very seldom has anything been better. It's all just been generally... I'll run through it. Just, I think I've unlocked... It said it was Rick Flagg's last support mission, so I think I've done a lot of the support missions... A lot of the side things. And some of those missions, I actually rage quit during one of the missions. Not because it was tough or anything. I'm just a normal difficulty. I didn't feel like this game deserved any harder. Uh, but it was just so horrible mission. <laughs> it was just annoying because you had to hunt down these uh, brutes and snipers to uh, get the terminal unlocked. To complete. Cause a lot of it's just like you got to guard a terminal. Oh, hey, they've taken point A, taken point B. Like they did in Avengers. The same exact thing. And these guys teleport like halfway across the map. And some enemies, oh, you can only counter. You got to do a counter thing. Or they only take critical damage. And it's just... And there's only affliction damage they take. It's just... Maybe that's what you're into. That's your thing. Uh, I say you will definitely have a lot of that. Let's just go through that. Just showing off guns. It also does do melee weapons as well. A couple rules. So I have a roll of roll. And I'll say the credits, uh, credits I have quite a few, a couple hundred thousand. I have no idea what any of this loot is. None. I don't, and like, I think it has names, but it never really came up. It's just different bits to keep you busy. Yeah, let's see what we got, though. We'll craft another freedom flow. Free flow. Masterpiece is gonna make you very happy. And you're no, not really. It's, I mean, suicide strike damage is a bit up. But the shield harvest is kind of. Ooh, um, man, I don't know. That's difficult. But yeah, then you can also reroll. He'll reroll stuff too. Uh, if you want to reroll your stats on that. Uh, I'll keep and think about it. Yeah, but each, uh, every character does have a melee weapon difference. You can't equip them with all the different guns, though, pretty much. Uh, they play slightly different, but it's pretty similar. Like, I would say when you played Hawkeye and Kate Bishop in the Avengers, I, yeah, it's it's pretty similar. Well, we'll try everybody else out and show you, but... Reversal is slightly different. This is Aaron Cash. I remember him from Arkham series. And turn all that Harley energy on the real threat. Looks like you cleared me out. Hey, we got some stuff. Yay. That's as sad as I get for that. Okay. Also, another slight spoiler because they, they changed some things that happened. After the end of Arkham Knight, you know. 
Hit little poison ivy, who is now a small annoying child. I bet you're here to make those stupid metal weapons a little more. Uh, we only have a couple right now. Deep freeze or frenzy. Ah. Uh, Let's do it. Supercharge we haven't gotten yet. That's story progression, I guess. I said about 14 hours in, we did. I did pay for. We didn't get review codes. I don't think anybody got review codes. I know IGN was on about that. Uh, but I don't mind paying, especially if I'm going to go through it. And I'm a big fan of Rocksteady, actually. I've really enjoyed the Arkham series as a whole. This is Toy Man. One thing I really loved about the game also, just look at this. The amount of minute detail they put on the city and all this stuff. A little bit of lore, etc. There's a lot of great uh, voice acting too and voice and of course like Kevin Conroy's in this as well. I do believe he passed away mid-development. Uh, but yeah, he's been pretty bad. has been pretty spot on. I've, I've really enjoyed that. And I've seen a lot of stuff on social media kind of mocking the game and stuff. Some of this is taken out of context, though. Especially the thing with Flash that, uh, didn't happen. That they kind of cut it into it and cut away to another part, so it's not exactly... Well, eh, I could. He can reroll for a chance at better stats. That sounds so exciting to me. No, uh, nah. The all of this is just, just not, not fun yet. It's not fun yet. We'll get out of here. I think that's about everybody in here right now. How'd you like the hot wheels? Any complaints? There's also some vehicular combat as well. It's not all the time though. Like there's these certain missions, and then you only use it to do those missions for the vehicular combat. So I don't know why it's there. It's a little weird. There's that sign that triggers all the people for absolutely no reason at all. All right. Lantern status. Lantern. I'll say one annoying thing as well. This game actually never stops. There's never an end to the voices. There's never like a quiet time to just enjoy it all, but. All right, we'll show off a little bit Harley Quinn, and then I'll switch over. Oh, we got a tank, actually. Oh, I walked into that. Let's go in the back. You gotta hit these soft spots. My ultimates won't work on him. Uh. I will say the NPCs not quite helpful. This is multiplayer, remember that as well, and crossplay, I think, too. Okay, done. Unless let's go while we're at it. Let's check out the there's a contract thing as well. You we can have like four, I think you can upgrade now, we can upgrade to four. We get these done, we get a little bit of stuff, sometimes some XP. Uh just stuff you're doing anyway in combat. Let's get me a potatoes. A couple different outfits. Yeah, if you got the hundred dollar edition, I think you you. I got him. I just don't feel like that fits Harley Quinn, but it's it's a nice outfit. It's well done. Uh, and there's also the Twitch Prime drop for Harley Quinn, which I would not be caught dead wearing that. And there's also Riddler as well. Riddler has. Some side missions and stuff. It's a lot of collecting trophies. Doing some traversal quests. They get some various color, different colorations and stuff. And it's... It's not great. That outfit isn't too bad, though. Likewise with the... Yeah, it's just... And that's not bad looking. It's just I just don't feel like it fits the story right now. I know you have trophies and you have banners and I don't know why you need that, but yeah, you can switch your loadout to about any gun as well. Let's see what we've got for you. Let's go to the talent tree as well, because mostly I've been rolling Harley Quinn. I have uh, there's certain missions like you get psyched up, like once you you can use another character, so you get a lot more XP for it. So basically, yeah, you eventually kind of want to play them all a little bit. 
I don't know if that flushes out your bot side of it, though. So the skill, the skill tree has been very boring, and I know they're gonna say, well, once you play through and get the end game, it really opens up your build, and why would you want to go all the way to this just to get to the fun stuff, if there's fun stuff at the end? I, I don't know about that, but yeah. So far, it's been, that's been all right. And also, one thing, there's also in the option check, and we'll check this out, uh, to online, because I've turned this off before, and it keeps turning itself back on. Yeah, like, this will automatically always turn itself off. So, let's, all this was automatically on, actually. Every time somebody did something in the game, on the multiplayer side, it would pop up on the right side of my screen really annoyingly. There's no offline version yet, and this does launch with DRM, I believe. Uh, but, I've been running, I got a pretty high-end PC, though. Uh, I've been running it easy, no problem, 4K. Been running pretty smooth. But that will always turn off, and sometimes even when you had to have it off, it still shows up anyway. Super annoying. It's your brain. But like, everybody's it's skill your... tree is... It's about the same. It's, it's just... Not very awesome. But if you want, though, you can just run around the city getting trophies. Let's actually switch it up. Because I haven't played a lot of Shark yet. Got a little shake. A venue fit for ancient Greece. What thrilling tales of war and peace. But look at the lore in the city. It just looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know the other side missions where I show you those, but I think we might go do the next mission. We find a little bit more combat. I think I do see that over there. I'm gonna try his ultimate. Other than the snipers, which I find semi-annoying. Shield harvest. Alright, a little bit of loot. If you go out of an area, it actually will, like, it'll say, like, it'll pick up your lost loot. Because you didn't pick it up. Not that you wanted it. Uh... There's a couple over there, maybe. He can jump three times. I assume this is some kind of Australian ism for betraying Luther. And if I try to avoid spoilers, anyway, they constantly talk about the main plot. How about you just for a strong word? Leverage. Right now, a bald billionaire from another world is the only leverage we've got. Let's not throw Ooh, okay, so there's an emplacement. You destroy these, you get a little bit of XP. I must be above the earth to crash down upon it. Impossible. And yet. Frozen afflictions. I gotta wait for that shield to drop. Just wait, there you go. Refill. Ah, sniper, sniper. Blew you up. Shield down. Oh, we got some other fellas. Alright. Problem is the shark is so under under level the oh sniper. Snipers will automatically disappear if you get uh too far away. Uh, you know what? Outside the I'm gonna get a shield harvest if I can get up there. Quinn, here's what I don't get about you. One thing I don't more fun. You wanna kill the Justice League, but you're a big Wonder Woman fangirl. 
We actually got elemental fiction that can. Yep. Yeah. All right. There we go. That is a bit of fun. I like that. I did see him, right? Okay. Yeah, you have to do a lot of counter shots to get them vulnerable. And there's some missions where you can only counter shot to do this and get grenades, etc. I found the sniper is slightly annoying. But once you counter them, then it's alright, but it's... Yeah. That has been slightly less fun, but it's not terrible. It's the repetitiveness of the mission, so why don't we go... Do this one. No, not that. Uh, there we go. These are all the Riddler. Currently, I'm sure there'll be more, but right now... Oh, I haven't done that one. But you just run that and then the, depending how good you do. Oh, actually I actually have. You can get different things to unlock customization wise. There's a vault in that bank with technology which can counter Green Lantern. I suspect there is a but coming. That would be the heavily armed troop of invaders who've set up an outpost near the bank. Maybe a mission where I can just kill somebody? That'd be lovely. And also the fight with the uh, Flash was actually... Very dull and repetitive, which is very sad. Where did, where did you go? There's a little loot things you can chase down, but the loot is always junk. It's just... I crash upon my foes. Hey, come back here, you. I don't, I don't think that's a loot nod, but it's just a... Come back here. Hey. This guy. Out of my way. In Baker line, a record's choice. And there resides the people's voice. Nobody else was shooting at it? All right, fair enough. Yeah, but loot nod, you just wonder off it's fine. It, it's this not really not that right important way. at the end of the day. And why don't we show off some... I don't actually... I haven't done a lot of... He's got a jetpack. But it's slightly... Then you can kickstart a little bit. Did I not? Actually, let's check this out. He's got two pistols. I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't sound quite right. Hey, you can mix and match, but let's see. Oh, because I took it off. Boom, boomerang. All right, that's that one infamous weapon. Nope, because I've already got a sniper upside. Yeah, and if you get too close, they teleport away. Yeah. Well, imagine just hours and hours on and a sniper is just running away from you. That That's kind of what I've had. You guys know we're in combat, right? No. I was just headed to that mission. They're just, yeah. Well, actually, uh... And that is fun. I like that. I like a lot of the running around the city and just murdering. Holy man, that sniper again. And that's how you get them, because after a while, they won't... If you counter them with the counter shot, there's a lot of counter shot in this game, they won't uh, be able to teleport for a little bit. Oh, is this the... Oh, the Batman experience. All right. Don't even know. I 
Actually, why don't we switch over to... Oh, yeah. I actually like uh, Captain Boomerang. Instead of, what do I have? My sniper rifle and shotgun? Okay. Not a bad time. Because he's got a Speed Force Gauntlet, which we stole in the beginning of the game. Oh, destroy the incubators again. Let's get rid of them. This is exactly what I mean. This is the same setup for all the missions, usually. Defend a terminal, capture some people, rescue some people, do the terminal, get the incubators. Literally cut and paste every single mission almost. I can't do not. Coming is fun, but the mission is just straight up. I want to say lazy at some points. Let's follow this and see. Okay, there we go. the way uh you do get like uh, kind of like marvel's avengers you get like two revives too if you do die during a mission i need to run away for a little bit though I still said we go for this one though. Venue a little melee. Oh yes, these are a self-regenerating bottle. Oh, did you even add more bull crap to this mission? Type? Oh really? That's just I cannot believe that, that they added even more crap to this. Not to be mean, but come on, that's just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate it when I shoot a bunch of weird crystals and they come back! Out. Ha. There we go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, more crystals. Oh my god, alright. Because there's two, and then you have to do... Oh my god, alright. Fine. Oh, and a helicopter? Really? Get this one, get this one, alright. That's one down. But I've done this exact same mission like half a dozen times. They just keep adding a new crap to it. And this is where I think the game is really gonna fail, because this is what the end game 
It was basically going to be like you rolling this for a chance of. I did not mean to do that. There we go. I gotta stop murdering. And let's see over here. Yep. Who's over here? Oh. And of course, then always the caveat, it's always funner with friends. I'll try to do some multiplayer as well, but. Okay, go, 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 go. I mean, everything's fun with your friends, though. I mean, that doesn't make this a good game, I'd say. Crap, oh. There we go. Basically, the first 14 hours, I've done this type of mission at least half a dozen times and along with the d defending terminals it's it's very repetitive very not very it, it's almost like somebody played the avengers and they copied their mission style but this is slightly better than the avengers if i can give that compliment But the story part of it is, is it is spot on. It is good. And ooh, yes, things that are probably not better than what I have, or are already not as good. Um, well, that shotgun actually would probably re-roll it, I suppose. Re-roll the stats anyway. I'm sure. Now this. This is a nice gun. Well, baddies are all dead. Let's get inside that bank and find our lantern killer. Within this city's fiscal stash. Oh, hey, we got another uh, Riddler challenge. What would an Arkham game be out without the Riddler? What will it be, Boomerang? Uh, let's see. This time, we you don't get a lot of choices initially. But 20 for 10 seconds of using speed gauntlet. Ooh. You know what? I actually kind of like that. So we're all ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll live up here. My initial thing is like, there's there's good in this. Don't don't get me wrong, there's good in this game. Would I recommend it uh right now? start no uh, on a sale just because seventy dollars bottom entry the hundred dollar edition not really but there's gonna be a battle pass as well uh publishers warner brothers I wouldn't trust them as far as i could throw them really so they did do right on uh, letting harry potter be you know non hogwarts legacy not monetized no dlc things they were fairly okay on that, but usually they are not. But overall, I like some of the stuff in here. I really do. The missions are horrible, uh, very repetitive, not a lot of fun. Uh, but the story-wise is good. The boss battles were, so far have been very disappointing, though, too. It's just mainly the story is good. Rocksteady does a great job on that. Well, I'm going to play through it, even through the madness. Uh, but, yeah, keep it on for a sale, but otherwise, I would not recommend, uh, opening day. Alright, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, it does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.